right. Thank you so much, Rachel. So I will say um, I live and work in Iwate and I do not teach writing or academic writing at all. And the project that I use this um, Padlet writing for, it's a just a basic communication class. Um, all students are required to take English. There are no English majors. So my class um, that I use is there a combination of nursing students, IT, software development, um, welfare. It's there, there. So in addition, the students also don't usually know each other that well because they come from different faculties. So at the time when we did this activity, I was teaching face-to-face -face and also Iwate was, had very few cases of um, active corona at the time. So the activity was inspired, something in the book that we did was, it was called Plan a Day Out and the book gives a fictional map and different activities and times and the students have to plan what they will do. And kind of right as I was doing that, one of my friends was posting about how her family business was really hurting in these um, COVID times, you know, lack of people coming. And this is a prefectural university. So most of the students are from either this prefecture or the sort of surrounding three prefectures. We don't really get people from elsewhere. And so I asked them and, you know, how, what was going on, you know, with their part-time jobs, their, you know, some of them have family businesses. And this way, this was a way that, um, we could sort of create an activity like use we to, sorry, to something that we'd done in the textbook and then sort of apply it in a real life um, context. So in the chat, I did link to the YouTube video that I watched that sort of inspired me to do this Padlet. And then I also linked to the actual Padlet. Um, okay. So can I not share my, oh, here I can. I can't actually share my screen. All right. So I will just show the Padlet that I linked to. Here we go. So, oh gosh. I always hate it when I'm, when you're, your actual, Things. Yes, I think I can see Julia nodding head. Yes, why is it that when you share, all of a sudden you're sharing like in this bizarre way? I'm like, I'm over in Akita when I want to be in Almorty. Um, I will stop sharing until I get, <laughs> get back into Iwate. Um, so, anyway, so. Um, if people want to um, look, okay, I should, let me start screen sharing again. Okay, here we are. Okay, so this is the Padlet that I um, created for this um, presentation here. And I'm sorry, I realized my cat is very noisy in the background, <laughs> so sorry. Um, this actually happened to me frequently when I was teaching online in one of my classes, they, they got to know my cat very well. Um, so Padlet has a feature where it's integrated with Google Maps. And so the students, just to add something, they just click on the pin, you can type in the address and then you can edit a post. So you can sort of, I asked the students who had done this for their permission to include their posts um, in the map. And so when you go here, you can see this is the place. And then this is what the students had sort of written about this particular place. So it was interesting. Actually, two people wrote about the same park um, that you can go to down here. People wrote about restaurants, you know, um, scenic spots, et cetera. So um, I thought if everyone wants to click on the link, everyone should be able to add 
this is a this just shows a list of everything that has been posted so far. But if everyone wants to um, should be able to click on the Padlet link and be able to add your own sort of pin about a place that you would recommend going to. So I will stop share and give everyone a chance to <laughs> to do this. I just love the kitty. Yes. Oh, my cat. Um, I talked to somebody else and they said they had done a similar activity at the beginning of the year where they have students that come from sort of all over in Japan and that people can um, introduce a place in their hometown or possibly their favorite restaurant or something like that. So, okay, can I get a show of hands? Is everyone able to access the Padlet? Yes, Julia says she's accessing the Padlet. Okay, awesome. So, um, I think I've not, I wasn't gonna go into breakout rooms, but I just would hope that everyone can just play around on the Padlet and see how easy it is. Um, yes, integrated here with Google as we were talking for in the Google sphere. Um, I will say with Padlet, the free version, you're allowed three active Padlets at a time. And I do have the paid version, but the way to get around keeping the free, if you just want to use the free version, you can do what's called archiving. So once you're done with the Padlet or you're not using it, you archive it, and then you can just start a new one. So generally it's actually the free version is there. The same features are available in the free version as the paid version. And the only difference being how many Padlets you are allowed. Um, I use it frequently and sometimes I have students in different groups doing different things. And so I needed, I wanted to have more than three. Um, so I do have the paid version. You can pay per month. I'm not trying to be a commercial for them, but um, I have the, I think the backpack version It's 680 yen a month is what I've been paying. So I do see that some people have successfully um, added, added some um, pins. I won't share my screen because I think then it makes it more difficult to work on your own. But I do see people have um, have added have added places. You can also upload if you have your own um, if your own photo of the place. I will say I was not given permission to share, but one of my students charmingly linked to the roadside stall where her grandmother <laughs> sells her apples. And she wrote a very quaint thing about how if you were out and you wanted to buy some apples or have a little snack and she looked and linked and she had like a little picture with, you know, like the little um, little piles of apples that people put the money in the box for. So um, we did, it was tied in with a little bit of how to support local businesses and you know, many of the students linked to either a family business or a place where they worked or um, in the case, oh yes, refresh the page, you can see this. Thank you, Rachel. Yes, refresh the page and you can see other people's contributions coming in. So I think that's, I don't think I even needed 15 minutes to, <laughs> Um, to, I have a question. I don't want to interrupt you, but um, oh, how it, no, it, the, the, the Google integration is already there. If you select when you hmm. when you go to Padlet, Padlet has um, sort of different types of Padlets that you can create. And one of them is maps. And if you select maps, it's already integrated with Google. So you have no so in that but in which case it automatically as you can see, just type in the address and it takes into the pin drops right there. So.
Oh, okay. Rachel wants to know about our writing assignment. Oh, yes, because it's a writing presentation. Oh, fancy that. Um, yes. So the students were to, um, before they went there, I had them write information about the place that they would be going. As um, I told them, since it was into Google, like the opening dates and times, they didn't, I didn't encourage them to, in, to include that. I wanted them to include why they would recommend going to the place and like what you would do there and um yes what you would do there why you would go there what you would do there and then if it was somewhere like a restaurant or a cafe i encourage them to talk about maybe what sort of um, protocols they had in place for covid okay so like they were People said, you know, all the staff are wearing masks or they are strongly sanit they was like strongly sanitizing or or doing whatever. Um, but a lot of them just listed places that, you know, outdoor parks and um, view spots and other places to go. So it was a very like I said, it's not a writing class, it was just a very short, informative writing piece that they wrote before linking it on there. And then Barry wants to know, is this the only function of this application? Um, Julia is going, no, Julia, what, do you want to say something? Julia, unmute yourself, Julia, Julia. So I, I am in love with Padlet. Thank you so much for sharing this because I had no idea. I'm so excited. I'm going to use the map feature like for the beginning for, um, next semester when we do like getting to know each other because we have students from all over and um they're quite near but this because i'm in niigata and niigata is really large and the students mm -hmm. don't often know about the other parts of the prefecture so um for the get to know you this is just so awesome anyway the, to answer that question i use padlet every day in class um, because there's so many different features um the students can connect posts to a central idea um, I put them in groups in Padlet in, in their classroom and then they, the groups are reflected on Padlet um, and they can see each other's writing, which is part of the visibility thing that I talked about earlier. Oh, Padlet is a game changer, um, but everybody, oh, and one person in each group has to have the ability to, like, they have to use their laptop. So like in, if everyone doesn't have it, it's okay because they're doing a group activity. So, um, oh, sorry. Thank you, Catherine. Awesome. And Catherine um, Timmy asked about on their phones. I have had students do it on their phone, but it is, um, I mean, the screen is small and it's not impossible to do it on your phone, but like many things, it's just not when you, I think anything where you're writing, actually writing, I, I don't know. I find it, I've used it on my phone, but it's not as user friendly. Um, one of the other things I, they have a, it's called shelf. And so there's different, um, you can have like top, different topics and then they would write things under each of those um, topics. And if you're on a phone then you would really have to be scrolling around a lot to, um, to get there. But yeah, for mind mapping, for um, brainstorming, for reflective um, things. I, yeah, I also enjoy using it. Yeah, I just wanted to say really quickly, uh, so the video isn't posted yet from our last MyShare, but Catherine and... No, I was not talking about Padlet then. Yeah, yes, you were. Didn't I talk, wasn't I talking about Nearpod then? Oh, yes, oh my gosh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Nearpod and Padlet, but I do know that you use Padlet and Nearpod both, uh, both a lot. I'm sorry, I totally confused. I'm sorry for interrupting you then. For... <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> No, no, we're all good. Does anybody else have another question or? Cat Catherine was, so does anybody, yes. am I good? Okay. Um, You're good. This, or are these activities like in class? Um, I was thinking, is it, I was just thinking if you could bring them to like an act, a, a location with like different landmarks or different things and then make an activity out of that. You could, um, I was in a face-to-face -face class doing okay. this. Okay, and then actually one of the 
in one of the class, people did link really quickly to places around the campus. Cool. So, but um, yeah, you I mean, could I also could do kind of a scavenger hunt. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. I had, I, I, I had actually planned with someone else. We had, as they're in the part of their freshman orientation, they were going to, we were going to take them to different places, and then they were going to look for something and then write up. But um, that I that whole orientation was canceled. So, okay. yeah, didn't get Thank to do you. it. <laughs> sure. I could probably never get permission. That would take forever. And by the time I get permission, the semester's over. So, so but <laughs> in my case, just do, just do, don't ask. I know, I know, <laughs> totally, totally, yeah. <laughs> yeah.